Today I will introduce you our newest product we call H2Bot. It's a remotely controlled charging platform that uses hydrogen fuel cell power for charging electric vehicles. We could simply say it's a mobile charging station with a hydrogen fuel cell. It's designed to be used in parking lots. A big advantage is it doesn't need electric connection at all. So you can use it anywhere where electric infrastructure is not available and it's not possible to build static charging station. Another advantage is you don't need as many charging points if you have a mobile charging platform that can travel between the cars. The operator sits behind the computer with the steering wheel, so he controls the vehicle sort of like a video game. After parking behind the car, not blocking the cars around, the robotic arm extends from the vehicle. Charging head with a 3D camera is put in front of the charging port by operator. Opening the charging port and plugging in the connector is done automatically by image recognition. So let's talk a little bit about the technology inside. In the middle, we have a hydrogen storage. There are hydrogen cylinders pressurized on 500 bars. It contains a little bit more than 14 kilograms of hydrogen. If the hydrogen runs out, it's possible to either remove the storage and put the new one in. It's also possible to fill it on the hydrogen filling station for passenger cars. In the back, we have a fuel cell itself. It also contains the cooling system, the air filter, air compressor, coolant pump and everything the fuel cell needs to run. In the front, we have the rest of the technology. We have, for example, the battery, uh, which is necessary for running the fuel cell. If the load suddenly drops or increases, the battery needs to cover for that. We also have the charger itself. Right now, we have 110 amps and 45 kilowatts charging power. It can be increased based on the customer requirements. Completely in the front, there is a robotic arm with the extender and there are also some auxiliary systems like inverter for electric motor, control unit for remote operation, control unit for the cameras, control unit for the system and some other things. 